गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द शेप्स ऑफ ऑर्बिटल एज वी हैव डिस्कस प्रीवियस इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट क्वांटम नंबर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ आर एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ सेकेंड लास्ट लेक्चर आफ्टर द दिस लेक्चर देर विल बी अ लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस लेक्चर एंड यू हैव टू नोट डाउन एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर बिकॉज this is going to be a uh, very important for your electronic configuration uh, as a point of view of that electronic configuration how we can write the electronic configuration of different elements on the basis of their subcells or orbitals so before starting this electronic configuration or energy label and some important topic like abbau principle pauli's exclusion principle and hunt's rule so today it is very important to understand the shape of orbitals as i'm discussing in previous videos also there are different shapes of orbitals so today we will understand how the shapes of orbitals uh, occurs and how we have to study it so first of all we have to understand that what is orbital student orbital is the three dimensional region around the nucleus where there is a maximum probability of finding an electron of definite energy means न्यूक्लियस के चारों तरफ का वो रीजन वो रीजन वो थ्री थ्री डायमेंशनल दिस इज अ थ्री डी रीजन अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस वेर देर इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग एन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट इज नॉट अ सर्कुलर बट इन दैट रीजन अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस देर विल बी अ थ्री डायमेंशनल रीजन वेर देर इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मैक्सिमम सो दिस इज नोन एज ऑर्बाइटल्स so we have different types of orbitals so one by one we are going to study them so the first is shape of s orbital as you know the shape of s orbital is spherical means around the nucleus there will be electron cloud there will be a spherical shape where the probability of finding electron can be anywhere okay so this spherical shape is known as s orbital okay as you know are quantum numbers so i will discuss in later also but in brief i am going to uh, tell you for s orbital you know l is equal to 0 for l is equal to 0 there is s for s orbital l is equal to 0 and you know if l is equal to 0 so m will also 0 so s orbital have only one unidirectional orientation because m is 0 m tells us about the orientation so for s orbital l is equal to 0 if l is equal to 0 so m is equal to 0 so that means s orbital have only one unidirectional orientation that is the probability of finding the electron is same in all direction so it is a spherical shape so only we will represent s orbital in spherical shape as i represent here around the nucleus so it might be x axis this is a, this is going to y axis this is z axis so the size and energy of s orbital with increasing n will be suppose n is principal quantum number so first orbit this is 1s it can be 2s it can be 3s it can be 4s it can be 5s it can be 6s so the energy will increase like this okay so now you can understand one is a principal quantum number n this is l azimuthal quantum number this is the subcell this is cell this is subcell so 1s is a orbital now now this is orbital so it is having a spherical shape so i will represent any orbital with this box and the maximum electron in one box will be 2 one will be clockwise and one will be anti clockwise only you have to understand the shape that will be spherical and uh, for a different value of n it might be 1s 2s 3s 4s 5s and 6s so the increasing energy will be like this okay now we are going to discuss the shape of p orbitals student now p orbitals as you know there are dumbbell shape as we have discussed earlier p orbital is in dumbbell shape so in dumbbell shape suppose this is the x axis this is y axis so along this axis this is a dumbbell so there is a probability of finding electrons inside this loops but at the center there is no any chance of finding an electron so that's why this is known as 
nodal point nodal center you can also say okay so we will discuss later these terms nodal plane nodal point that is not important as your point of view but you have to discuss this is along the x axis this orbital so it is named as px okay because p orbital is in dumbbell shape okay now this is along y axis so this orbital is known as py along the z axis this orbital this is known as pz as you know for p orbital okay now note this point very important for p orbital for p orbital you know that l is equal to what 1 l is equal to 1 because the value of l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 l ka jo value hota that is 0 to n minus 1 So for p orbital l is equal to one, you know. So if l is equal to one, so m will be zero to n minus one. That is one, uh, and m is equal to m ka value minus l to plus l. That is minus one, minus one, zero, and plus one. So there are three orientations. So three orientation will be like this: p x, p y, and p z. Okay. Along the x-axis, if the lobes are lying, so it is known as p x orbital. This is p y along the y-axis. This is p z along the z-axis. So the shape of p orbital is dumbbell in which two lobes on the opposite side separated by a nodal plane. So suppose this is x and y. This will be the z-axis. So the probability of finding electron in this z-axis and this y-axis will be zero. So such plane, such plane is known as nodal plane. Such plane is known as nodal plane. As you all know, dear, these three axes will be like this. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this will be perpendicular z-axis. All three, all these three axes will be ninety uh, degree to each other. Okay, I think this will be okay. Now this is the x-axis, this is y-axis, this is z-axis. If the lobe is lying along the x-axis. So lobes will be like this, lobe will lying like this, and the probability of finding electron along this axis will be the, along this plane will be zero. So this plane is known as nodal plane. So it is not important as your point of view, but later on it will matter more. So only you have to understand it along the x-axis if the orbital is if the lobe is lying. This is px, this is py, this is pz. Why p orbital are three? Be, as you know, for p orbital l is equal to one. So m will be minus one, zero, and plus one. That's why they, this will be their orientation. Okay. Now s orbital is spherical. P orbital are dumbbell in shape and three in quantity. So I will represent every each orbital with this box like this. This is p x, this is p y, and this is p z. And for s orbital, I will only represent this. Okay. So it might be 2px, 2py, 2pz, 3px, 3py, 3pz, anything in on increasing energy. Okay, student. So now this is the shape of p orbitals. Now we are going to discuss the shape of d orbitals. Okay. Now d orbitals. This is very important. So later on in our coordinate chemistry we will discuss in, in detail. But today, as you know, there are two axes. This is x and this is this is x axis and this is y axis. So, if the lobes are lying along the axis, sorry, between the axis, this is x and y. So, between the axis, if the lobes are lying, this is x axis, this is y axis. This is known as d orbital x y. The name of this orbital will be d x y. Along the x and z, this orbital is known as d x z. Okay. Along the y and z, this orbital is known as d y z. Okay. If the lobes are lying between the axis now. This is x-axis. This is y-axis, and this orbital is known as d x square minus y square. Okay. Now some of the are representing this orbital like this, a spherical shape, and then the orbital along the z-axis. But some representation in our NCERT book will be like this. So this orbital, where the small lobes are along the x-axis, like a spherical shape, and one lobe is along y-axis, this orbital is known as Sorry, this will be z-axis. Okay, student. Sorry, this is this will be z-axis. So along the z-axis of the orbital, and this is known as d z square. Okay, I have made these all orbitals separately because these three orbitals make a set. This two orbital make a set. So later on, coordination uh, coordination chemistry we will uh, discuss why it is so. 
so today you have to understand the shape of d orbitals so this is dxy dxz dyz dx square minus y square and dz square so there are five orbitals how this uh, five orbitals so student you know that for the value of l is equal to you know 0 1 2 3 if l is equal to 1 l is equal to 2 l is equal to 3 this is s p d f okay so for d orbitals l will be equal to 2 for d orbitals as you know for d for d orbitals for d orbitals sorry for d orbitals l is equal to 2 so l is if l is equal to 2 the value of m will be minus l to 0 to plus l so minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 so there are five orientation of d orbitals which will be like this so these are five d orbitals so d, each d orbitals students indicates in shape size and energy okay each d orbitals indicate in shape size and energy so each d orbital is double dumbbell or you can say bi dumbbells so it is double dumbbell this uh, this is the dumbbell this is along between this axis so these are double dumbbell shape so now i have discussed i have finally i have one this is s orbital which will be spherical there are three p orbitals which will be px py and pz this is s orbital and there are five orbitals for the simplicity we are making this box okay there are five dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square okay so there are five d orbitals so for the simplicity we are making orbitals as a box so this is the basic information about the shape of d orbitals you have to note it and you have to understand it if the lobes are lying between two axes x and y this is x y lobes are lying between the axis z and x this is dxz lobes are lying between the axis of y and z this is known as dyz if the lobes are lying along the axis of x and y this is dx square minus y square and if the lobes are lying this orientation this is known as dz square so now finally we have the d uh, orbital shape now f orbital is very complex in shape so it is not needed for you you have to you, you are not to study about this f orbital shape only we will deal with s p and d orbitals okay now having the shape of these orbitals one thing i would like to clear about you is that before elect, uh, before studying this electronic configuration before studying this electronic configuration student we have to go through about the quantum numbers then we can understand the electronic configuration very easily then we will go through our bow principle pauli's exclusion principle and hund's rule so before understand this electronic configuration today i am going to give you a brief idea about this quantum numbers again then we will understand this configuration okay now there are four quantum numbers n l m and s principal azimuthal magnetic and spin quantum number so first as you know if the principal quantum number n is equal to 1 so l will be equal to 0 if l will be equal to 0 as we know that if l is equal to 0 it will be s subset so i can write it s okay now there is one principal quantum n number so i can write it like 1s now understand now n if n is equal to 2 the value of l will be as you know the value of l you can note it value of l some of the student uh, may be confused in the in our test question also yeah i had given you the 3d orbitals so if d is equal to 3 uh, d orbitals so 2 so this was the question 3d orbitals ke liye sabhi quantum numbers bhi likhe as you know 3d so l is equal to what spd d2 and n is equal to what 3 if n l is equal to 2 to m is equal to minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 and s will be plus or minus of anything okay so this was the question so most of the student have made it correct so next one like l is equal n is equal to 2 so in that case l will be 0 over 1. if l is equal to 0 it will be s if l is equal to 1 it will be p so principal quantum number is 2 that will be 2s and 2p okay now similarly if n is equal to 3 student so l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 0 to 3 minus 1 2 0 1 2 okay now l is equal to 0 there will be s l is equal to 1 there will be p l is equal to 2 there will be d principal quantum number is 3 3s 3p and 3d okay student 
नाउ इफ एन इज इक्वल टू फोर तो एल विल बी जीरो वन टू थ्री जीरो टू एन माइनस वन ऑल वैल्यूज सो इफ एन इज इक्वल टू फोर तो एल विल बी जीरो सो फॉर जीरो इट विल बी एस फॉर वन इट विल बी पी फॉर टू इट विल बी डी फॉर थ्री इट विल बी एफ सो प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर इज फोर नाउ प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर इज फोर सो वी आई कैन राइट इट फोर एस फोर पी फोर डी फोर एफ स्टूडेंट सिमिलरली आई कैन राइट फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव ओके नाउ आई कैन राइट इट लाइक फाइव एस नाउ फाइव पी नाउ फाइव डी नाउ फाइव एफ नाउ फाइव जी सिमिलरली आई कैन राइट इट फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स दैट इज सिक्स एस सिक्स पी सिक्स डी सिक्स एफ सिक्स जी सिक्स एच सो बट इट इज नॉट नीडेड फॉर यू ओनली दीज आर द ऑर्बिटल्स ओके स्टूडेंट नाउ ईच ऑर्बिटल्स विच इज रिटर्न हेयर कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज अ बॉक्स कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट एड एज बॉक्स सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक इट बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके नाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल इंक्रीज इलेक्ट्रॉन विल फील्ड ऑन द इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ एनर्जी ओके नाउ फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर इन वन एस देन इट विल कम इन वन एस आफ्टर दैट डे इट विल कम इन टू एस देन टू पी थ्री एस थ्री पी फोर एस थ्री डी फोर पी फाइव एस लाइक दिस द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर लाइक दिस ओके सो लेटर ऑन वी विल डिस्कस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस आउ प्रिंसिपल पाउलीज एक्सक्लूज इन प्रिंसिपल हुस रूल एंड हाउ टू राइट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ओके स्टूडेंट एज सपोज एज यू एर इन क्लास टेंथ इफ सम वर्ड इज सेंग टू यू दैट द सोडियम इज अलेवन राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन यू आर राइटिंग लाइक दिस टू एट वन बट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी विल ट्राई टू राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन एज यू नो हाउ मेनी मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एस देर विल बी मैक्सिमम टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पी देर आर थ्री ऑर्बिटल्स ईच ऑर्बिटल कंटेन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इन पी देर विल बी मैक्सिमम सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड डी इन ईच ऑर्बिटल देर विल बी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन बट इन डी देर इज आर देर आर फाइव ऑर्बिटल्स दो मैक्सिमम देर विल बी टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दिस इज द मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके सो नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ आई कैन राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एस पी डी एफ सो अलेवन देर इज फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल गो इन वन एस सो इट विल बी वन एस हाउ मेनी मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन वन एस टू now second it electron will come in 2s so 1s2 that is will be 2s2 okay maximum 2 then 2p comes out to be 2p how many maximum electron in there six okay after 2p electron will go in 3s 3s the maximum electron will be 2 but there are 6 to 8 to 10 the number of electron is 11 so there will be only one electron so this will be the electronic configuration of sodium with the help of this spdf configuration so how this energy will increase decrease how the electron will field what is a bow principle what is n plus n rule so try to understand this all concept from your good refresher book from your ncert book then we will discuss a last lecture that might be in half an hour more than half an hour so we will cover all these things so be prepared so try to understand try to write the electronic configuration and just revise this quantum numbers so i think this lecture will be very important for you so if you find anything good for you anything informative so please do like share and subscribe it so milte hain next video mein till then thank you and have a nice day